Well, this is really what it's it's, it's all about in terms of the, the FA Cup for a club like Peterborough. We've we've seen it with the, the Chelsea and the West Brom games recently. It can be a, a really good day out. We're looking forward to it. Um, we're on we're on the back of a good run, really. Yes, we're, we're really disappointed of the, the, of the two games and picking up one point from MK Dons and Doncaster. Um, but before that, you know, it's three wins, a draw, and a defeat over the five games. Decent return. Um, still in the mix, and now we can we can switch off a little bit from the league and focus on the two cup games. Um, really tough game at, at Aston Villa. I don't think anyone's expecting us to go there and, and get anything. Um, so we can go there and enjoy it. Um, we can go there and, and you know within our camp we know we can go there and, and cause them problems. Um, so we're, we're, our whole focus is on is on us trying to perform and get the result. Um, we know it's going to be difficult, but we're under no illusions about that. But we know we, if we stay strong, we stick together, we work our game plan, then we, we'll have a chance. Yeah, we've seen it perfectly, really, with the FA Cup over the past couple of seasons. Sometimes you'll get a day where you get Chelsea, and they're just Chelsea, and they're brilliant, <coughs> and there's not much you can do about it. But then other days you'll get West Brom, and maybe they're a bit off it, and you can make something happen. Well, I mean, we watched the I watched the Aston Villa game uh, against Bristol City, and. Bristol City were good for 20, 25 minutes, and um, and then they just they stepped their game up and won the game easily, com comfortably five 0 So uh, we listen. We know whatever team they put out, they've, they've got a lot of quality in their squad. Um, but we just go there and we, we we try and give a good account of ourselves. You know we've we've got good attacking players ourselves. Um, if we can get the balance right behind that and, and the right personnel in the team, um, and then we can go there and, and we can cause them problems. There's no there's no two ways about that. So. We have to go there and make sure we are um, enjoy it first and foremost. Um, we've got a big following going, tremendous support of Peterborough fans coming. So we'll go there, um, play on the front foot, try and attack them and, and play our way. And we've seen it in League One this season against the likes of Wigan, even Bradford the other day, that you can really turn it on for some of these bigger games. I know it's different obviously going to, to Villa Park, but you can definitely take some <coughs> inspiration from that. Yeah, well, I mean, listen, against the, the, the so-called better teams in this league, we have performed. Um, you know, we, 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 you know, the boys get themselves up for them games very easily. It's my job to get them up for every game. But um, I think we, we have been, we've turned a corner over the past 16, 17 games. I think if you look at our form over those games, the, the amount of wins we've had, the way the games have come, um, have been very good uh, and a good return, you know, whether it's the cup games or the league. So... Um, we're, we've got good consistency in the group. We're disappointed with the last two games, but um, the whole focus now is, 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 is these two cup games. Uh, the first one would be in Villa, uh, and then a tough game at Luton, who are a friend in League Two. And like I said to you before, we want to try and go as far as we can in that check of trade as well. When it comes to approaching the, the Villa game, do you just do your normal thing? Is that how you, you go about it? Of course, yeah. We, we, we're not making any um, big dramas about. Uh, Aston Villa, we know they're a top club, we know they're well supported, they know they've got a tremendous manager who's won promotion after promotion, we know they've got players who've played in the Premier League and top, top players as well, but the boys are looking forward to testing themselves against them, I think that's the main thing, <coughs> is going there, playing with freedom, playing with a smile on your face, um, playing with energy and uh, and hopefully going to try and get the right result. Yeah, and you mentioned the the big backing as well. Great day out for the posh fans. We saw that last year at, at Chelsea, and it's nice, isn't it, in the FA Cup where you get more of the away tickets and you can have more of them along. Yeah, it is. It's 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 good that the, the uh, you know the fans are coming to support us there. Um, they'll help us. Uh, they'll give the players a massive boost to see the amount of Peterborough fans. I think it's four and a half thousand of them. I think it's been been sold. Um, so. Yeah, great. It's going to be a great day out for, for the fans and, and we want to try and repay them with a, a good performance and a good result. With the injuries, is it just Jack Baldwin who's still struggling? Uh, Guion uh, obviously as well. Right? Yeah, Guion. Um, Jack trained today, so he could be back involved at the weekend. Um, Guion's the only, the only one we're going to be missing, obviously, for a while. Um, I think he's going to have his operation over the next four or five days. Uh, we're going to be without him probably for a couple of months, <coughs> um, which is a big blow. Big, big, massive blow, like I said to you. But Jack's back. Um, seemed, seemed to have trained quite well this morning, but we've got to be careful with him. Um, you know, he's been out for two or three weeks now. So, uh, but pleased to see Jack back. You know, the, 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 he's a tremendous character about the building. Um, really, really high, highly thought off with with the group and uh, great leader as well. So it, it's a it's a good it's a good body for us to come, to come back. Does Squeon's injury change your thoughts as to the transfer window at all? 
Um, listen, we're looking in the window. I'm not going to. I don't really want to speak about players incoming or or anything like that because it, my only focus is on the game at the weekend. Um, of course, we're looking. Our phone's red hot. The chairman's the chairman's mind, the Barry's. Um, but we're, we're focused on the game at the weekend. That's the main thing. Um, we will, like I told you, try and strengthen. Um, but that will come after the, you know. After these two games, we'll have a little think about it. These games are coming in quick succession now, and we need to make sure we focus on these. Yeah, it's uh, it's always tricky, isn't it, getting that balance of when so much is happening, and then you've got to have an eye on the transfer window. I suppose that's where the the structure for you comes in really useful, and that you can just say to Barry, "You go and worry about that, and I can do the football." Yeah, he's he's brilliant with that, Barry. To be fair, you know we we come up with a list, um, we give it to Barry, and then he's the one that makes the calls and 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 sorts of deals. So. It's great to have that, you know. Not many football football clubs have that as well, especially lower leagues, um, where the manager's probably doing most of it. So it, Barry takes a lot of burden off my shoulders in terms of that. Um, last thing I need to be doing is dealing with agents and this club's after this player and that club's after this. But Barry's the best in the business, just telling to get lost. <laughs> if you know what I mean? So um, yeah, he, he's good, Barry, and um, I'm pleased to have him, especially around this time of year. Yeah, with all of that in mind, I don't suppose you're going to want to talk about Keith Moore. You might be about to surprise me, but I, I suspect not. Does it give us a, a little indication, though, of your thinking as to how you'd like to mix things up up front? Well, it's. I mean, it's. It, it was an option that we that, that came to us. Um, Josh Cullen was another option that came to us in terms of his agent rang us and um, and said that Josh would like to come to us. So it was, it was something that we we spoke to his agent and, and I've spoke to Josh about, but. Um, the lads decided to stay at Bolton. So, is what it is. We move on, and um, we're strong in that area anyway in midfield. So, um, but we've loaned Callum Child the FC Five um, to get some games. So we're, we're a body down there. Um, probably will look to, to try and bring one in in that area. Um, and the key for more one is just a different option what we've got. But listen, I think it's uh, the club I've tried with Ipswich, but it's, it's expensive and. Um, Something that, that probably I'd advise the chairman and Barry to, to steer away from because it's it is a big financial commitment. Um, listen, the chairman and Barry will make that decision. Um, as much as I'd like the boy here <laughs> and to give us a to give us a help, he is going to cost a lot of money. So um, we have got other irons in the fire, um, and we're looking at them as well. Yeah, all about cutting the the cloth appropriately. With Callum Chettle, his contract expires in the the summer. What's, what's his situation? Do you think we've seen the last of him at Posh? Can he work his way back in? No, definitely not. You haven't, you haven't seen the last of Callum. Um, he's got a year's option, which I, I explained to Chet, Chets that um, he will not be walking away from this club You know, at the end of the season. He, the club will take his option. Um, I'm sure there'll be a new deal in place for him. Um, I, I love Chets. I think he's a, he's a great lad. He's going to be a top player. He's still young, only 20, 21 years of age. Um, <clears throat> he's just find it difficult that... He's had Forrester, Grant, Doherty, Leo, Jermaine come back from injury just in front of him and um, he's found it tough to break through. Um, but he needs games, he needs to play some football. He's going to a, a good manager in a, in a good league. Um, I mean, they just beat Tramier 5 2 at the weekend, so they're a good team, FC Fylde. Um, and he's going to go and play some games. He, he will definitely will be leaving at the end of the season. Um, myself and the chairman have already spoke about that. We see Chets as a big future, one of the stars of the future of this club. Um, it's really just for him to get some games and um, and get his sharpness back to right up until the end of the season. With Ricky Miller a bit going on around him, will he be out of the first team picture to allow him to concentrate on where he'll go next or could he still be involved? What's the, the situation? No, Ricky's gone. He, he's gone. There's, there's, there's no... Um, Grey areas on that one. He's leaving the club. As soon as the club get a, an offer that that it's acceptable to the football club, then he'll leave. Um, we know there's been contact from. Well, I mean, I've had three or four calls on Ricky alone, really. Um, but again, I've left it to Barry, and and Barry, I'll sort that out over the next few few days, weeks, whatever long it takes.